What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install mods for the Steam version of PAL World. It's super simple. Do keep in mind that the game is still very early in development and of course the modding ecosystem as well, so things are bound to change. But in this video, I'll be showing you the main two types of mods that you'll be installing, if anything. Though do keep in mind, you'll need to read through the instructions for whatever mod you're trying to install in particular, as it's probably gonna be slightly different. But for the most part, you should understand by the end of this guide, kind of what you need to do to install mods. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install two mods. The first being a pack file mod that replaces your character or other characters, play models, etc. in game. On top of this, I'll be showing you how to install a basic script, which turns off the HUD completely so you can take better screenshots, etc. This is a script mod and this is a pack file mod, two different kinds, and of course they both have different instructions. Anyways, let's begin. First of all, you'll need to navigate to your game's installation folder. In Steam, right-click PAL World, hover over Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. This is where we'll be installing our mods for the most part. Pack file mods, such as replacing your player model, is very easy to install. Simply navigate across to the mod you want to download and choose Manual Download if it's on Nexus Mods, otherwise download however you do on whatever other website. Here at least, I'll need to click Slow Download and you may need to sign in. Pack file mods are the easiest ones to install as it usually just involves extracting a file. That's it. I'll open up the zip file when it's done downloading and inside of it you can see our pack file that we need to move. In your game's installation folder, navigate into the PAL folder, content and packs. That's it. Just drag the file out of your zip into this folder and it's installed. This is a very easy kind of mod to install. The next kind of mod that you'll oftentimes come across is a script mod that messes around with how the game works. These are usually a little bit more difficult to install. As you can see here, scrolling down in the description page, you'll see that we need something called UE4SS. This is a scripting system that allows custom scripts like this to be run in game. This is easy to install. In the description down below, you'll find a link to UE4SS on GitHub. Simply scroll down until you see releases on the far right. Select the latest release here, scroll down even further until you find these. You'll need to download the X input version here and open the zip when it's done downloading. There we go. What we need to do with these files is we'll be navigating to PAL, Binaries, Win64, and in here, we'll be dropping both the mods folder and the X input file, as well as UE4SS settings. You can alternatively select everything and just drag it out. I was holding control and clicking on them to select them as such. I'll drag them out into the Win64 folder, and now we've successfully installed UE4SS. The newly created mods folder is where we'll most likely be placing most of our mods. This one in particular will be downloading using the manual button, slow download, and opening it when it's done. All we need to do with this folder here is drag it out into our mods folder, and now we've successfully installed a script mod. In order to enable this mod, as the developers say here, we'll need to edit UE4SS settings and set BU's U object array cache to false, as it can cause instability. Oftentimes, mods will have their own intricate instructions. Just make sure you read through everything on the description page of whatever mod you're trying to download, much like this one here. So, in the PAL world, PAL binary win64 folder we were just in, you'll find UE4SS settings.ini that we just extracted. Open it with any text editor, I'll be using Sublime Text, and I'll be searching for BU's object array cache in this case and setting it to false. Just like that, we'll save it and close it. Now we've successfully installed a script mod. Let's fire into the actual game to see how it works. Okay, so start game, create new world, just to test out our new model. We'll give ourselves a name, and would you look at that, our pack file mod worked properly. Sweet, let's get in game, skip the intro, and we're now this unique character. Let's test out the script mod that we installed by pressing F9, the default button to hide our in-game overlay. That's it, it works. We've now successfully installed a script mod and a pack mod, so that's really it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you'd like to know how to do this for the Xbox version of the game, check the description down below. Thank you for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!